What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to Dark Souls 1. Last time we uh, started the game as our thief character and we're going to be doing a dex build as I mentioned previously and we also got ourselves the Uchi Katana the Uchi Katana but we need a little bit more uh, a little bit more strength before we can use that so we're just gonna try and do a little bit of leveling up probably not gonna get very far we can also access the bottomless box and put some stuff away just so it's not in the way get rid of that, get rid of that uh, wooden shield we don't need the wing spear either too heavy for us to use anyway. Now, anything in here? Nope. Armor's fine. That's fine. Okay. Level up. We can only get one level at the moment. Hmm. Well, in that case, I think I'll just hold off on leveling up for a little bit until we do the round trip and uh, unlock the ladder shortcut there. That's when we'll. Uh, that's when we'll level up. Now let's load this guy back in here and see if we can just backstab that crossbow guy. Make this quicker. Rather than having to just wail on him. Missed. Missed again. Oh no, he heard us. That's because I missed the parry. Hmm. Frame rate's acting very strange. I mean, it's dropping down to 20s, which is not ideal, certainly. But it should be fine. It might just be the area. Which wouldn't surprise me. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Goodbye. Well, that's him gotten rid of. Keep our health up. Now, this room isn't going to be very fun. Let's see if I can get out of here without taking uh, any too much damage. Well, that's one down. That hollow knight deal. Soldier, even. Actually, is it a knight, this one? Oh, missed it. Need to get rid of Axe Guy. There we go. Uses invulnerability frames. Oh, I missed the parry again. Oh. I have to take a drink. There we go. Parries and backstabs. The best thing for us to use. Now then. I need to go back here actually, now that I think about it. Because I need to remember how to get up to that ladder. I've forgotten how. Oh, I think I remember. There is an item over there I do want to get hold of. And I'd rather not leave it behind. It's not of great value, but I just want to get it for the sake of getting it really. Might be able to put it to some use, but probably just use a bow instead. Parry and the repost. Oh, hey, hollowed soldier's waistcoat. Is it waistcoat or waistcloth? I think I misread it. No, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna wear it ever. Come on, hit the shield. No, let's just do it this way instead. There we go. Frame rate dropped as well. Again, the frame rate is not playing nice, and I'm not sure what it is. I mean, I don't really have anything amazing set going, but still, it's it's surprising. Well, as long as it looks okay for the uh, YouTube's, then I suppose it's fine. Yes, yeah, this is where we need to go. Double kill. Wonderful. Oh, I was actually trying to get that barrel then. Ugh. Took some damage, no big deal. Although we are getting a little bit low on Estus, we'll be fine. I don't think there's anything really dangerous around here. Bar the Black Knight that I do want to try and kill. In fact, I'm almost tempted to burn another, another uh, humanity to up the uh, chance of him dropping his weapon. Or any piece of his equipment for that matter. Oh, I fluffed it. I didn't press the, the B button again. Or I should say, I didn't let go of it. In case those who don't know, you hold B to run and then you let go and tap B to jump. However, what I just did then was I 
held B and didn't lift it up enough so the button didn't come back up for me to press it again so it just carried on running still we didn't take any appreciable damage and I should have tried pulling off a plunging attack at least then it wouldn't have looked so bad oh well the longest part of this journey is the ladder climb because you can't run up ladders unlike Dark Souls 2 where you could actually I haven't mentioned this yet but I did up the volume uh, of the game between uh, parts so part one this the part just because I thought the uh, my voice was a bit loud and the game was a little bit on the quiet side there we go get a light crossbow probably never gonna use it but I wanted to get it and to also show that it's there for anyone who doesn't know in case you really wanted to get hold of a crossbow for some reason oh hello guy. Oh yeah, he was over there, wasn't he? No big deal. Just farming for souls. Alright then. I'm thinking of popping another humanity, as I mentioned. But I think we'll wait until we actually get up to the night before we do that. Might be able to pull off a backstab if we're lucky. Someone's got a message hovering in the air. Magic, and it's got 462 likes. Or ratings, even. Wow. I must say, I'd never seen that uh, particular icon before. The icons on the messages change depending on how many ratings they've gotten, and also who wrote them. If it's developers, they look like knights, if I'm not mistaken. Players look like hollows until people give them a certain number. That one has uh, apparently had so many, it's turned into um, one of the uh, firekeepers who we'll meet later on when we go to Analondo. Pop this open. Grab ourselves some lightning pine resin. Oh no, it's black fire bombs. Lightning pine resin is the next one. It's been a while, so all the chest locations and what's contained within them has uh, been somewhat forgotten. Right, it's this place. Just keep spamming the button. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm underestimated the range on the uh, bandit's knife again. Well, we do want to go up here. So I suppose we should just get this out of the way. See if we can uh, stealth walk. Oh, come on. Up you go. Ugh. Nope, that didn't work. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, right on the face. Oh well. Wow. Fast with those firebombs. I don't want to roll because the roll's quick roll. And I'm nervous I'll just roll straight off the edge. That's why I just took that on the face a bunch of times. Now, I've only seen this done once before. And this was in a video. But here, if you can stand on this ledge, you can actually shoot down there, obviously. And I've seen people put items down there stand up here with uh, the great bows the um, the dragon slaying great bow and shoot people off the edge it is one of the funniest things to watch as you can imagine oh no you don't use that bleed um, you probably lure them up first at least one of them come on There we go. Wonderful. This guy's gonna take his time, isn't he? I'm not good at parrying the spears. Come on. There we go. Thankfully, I didn't miss it. Ooh, a Titanite shard. That's because we probably got that because we have two humanity. When did we get two humanity? Hmm, one of the enemies must have dropped some. Another merchant dropped some when we uh, brutally murdered him. But I don't know who else dropped some. There's the gold pine resin. Cool, so now if we look at our character, you see item discovery? It's up to 158. That's because we have two humanity. One humanity puts it up to 150. 
next one puts it up to 158 and then uh, I think it goes up I think it goes up by maybe 4 and then 2 and then eventually 1 when you get up to 10 10 is sort of the knockoff point for the uh, humanities anything after that is basically worthless it doesn't give you enough returns for it to be uh, valuable now then only I had life gems. <laughs> Here's our wonderful friend, the Black Knight. He's probably going to kill me because I have no Estus. Okay, okay. Slowly, slowly. Go for it. Wonderful. I got it. Time to run away. Why run away? So we can get to a easier position to uh, fight from. Now what would actually be a sensible thing to do here would be to buff with gold pine resin. Oh, second too late on that one. It's been a long time. Hey, someone like uh, someone kindled the bonfire. That's wonderful. Good thing you didn't try punishers. There we go. Got him again. I think we time for back backstab fishing. Nope, that failed. Oh, far too late on that. There we go. Come on, drop something nice. A titanite chunk. Eh, not what I wanted, but it's still nice to get. Although we won't be able to make any use of it. Still, at least we got rid of him. He gave us a nice chunk of souls to work with which we will use for levelling up. Now then, let's grab this, which he was guarding, which is the blue tear stone ring, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, blue tear stone, we'll equip that. Might not actually be a bad idea to equip, to equip the ring of sacrifice at this point, but we'll make deal with the blue tear stone. Blue tear stone increases your... Uh... Now then, I'm really tempted to try and do this, but it'll probably kill me. I'll tell you what, I'll use a humanity. Just to heal. Here we go. Oh, I did it! You can jump through the barrel, basically. That's what I was trying to show. But, as I was saying, there is a sort of a reason to equip the... Uh, the Blue Tear Stone. That would be... Well, sorry, the Ring of Sacrifice. So that if we die, we don't lose all our souls. Now, down here is a wonderful man named Haffel. We are not going to fight him because however easy people say he is at parrying, he will splat us, like we will die immediately. So we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to wait a little bit. We're doing a dex build, so I'm planning on doing a sort of a light armor focused build anyway. You know, dex based obviously. So uh, yeah, we're not going to provoke him just yet. Now then, here, there's a little thing in here. Hello. It's a crystal lizard. We want it dead. Uh oh. Oh no, you're not escaping. Hat low damage. We've got twinkling titanite and large titanite shards. Wonderful. Some very nice ones to get hold of. Now then. Boss time. Where's the boss, you ask? We'll see him in a minute. First things first. We've got to deal with a little ambush. Hello. Don't want you two causing any problems for us. There we go. Hollow soldier armor, completely worthless. It doesn't give any real good defense and it's really heavy, so we're not going to be wearing that. Okay, slide down the ladder. There we go. Now, I think what we're going to do here. I'll keep the uh, black fire bombs on. We're going to keep the gold pine resin. We're going to use gold pine resin. Got a two hand eye weapon. Got to run forward. There he is. It's the Taurus demon. Hopefully, the music isn't too loud. I 
want to be quick here as well so that uh... there we go very nice ooh big hits oh this is not going well oh got butchered it's been a while I misjudged those uh, I misjudged them completely first one I thought I dodged it but nope oh well now we've got to run back what a way to start off Diane's Taurus is kinda shameful taking as much damage as we did while getting here is also kinda shameful but nothing we can do about it now just gotta go back and deal with him I probably shouldn't do the run back because there's a good chance I'll die again and lose all the souls which we worked to get and that would be most unfortunate if that were to happen okay you need to move no, it looks like we're gonna be just fine although I don't know if Taurus is immediately active though when we get there he might be that would be problematic but uh, oh well <laughs> grab the souls climb up the ladder he's not okay round two we didn't lose anything bar some lightning pine resin that we can get back or I should say gold pine resin who is not particularly important I mean again I'm ashamed that I died on Taurus but oh well I thought bleed would kick in honestly let's get the gold pine resin back out okay slide down there we go pop some gold pine resin and not miss any of the uh, things now I got far too aggressive I think when it came to uh, when it came to attacking him I don't have enough stamina to uh, only attack him th attack him three times I should only attack twice maybe I should also not lock on where are you? there he is I can't see him you don't want to stay up there too long because he will jump up Oh, that turn. I knew that was coming as well. Pressed the button at the wrong time. And I forget you need to jump early, not late. Oh, wow, that still got me. Okay, big guy. Stop doing that attack. One thing you can actually do here if you want is you can get him to fall off the ledge. That is a possibility. Oh, that attack! The turn on it is just brutal. It's been long. I'm just getting by it. Oh, it's handed to me. Also, yeah, we're not doing any damage to him now. Thank you for that, Taurus. Ooh. I was worried we were going to take an actual full on hit then and we'd die. Drink. Gold pine resin. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, I did not expect that. Pop of humanity. He's not. He doesn't bleed, I'll tell you that much. I honestly thought bleed would get him. Well, that was messy. And loud. Hopefully it didn't, like, drown out my voice. But, damn, that was very shameful. That was the sloppiest fire in the world. Oh, well. It's done. Ugh. Taurus, man, I didn't expect him to prove that much trouble. It's mostly because I don't play, like, dodgy classes. I usually play medium armor classes oh well I also don't usually use the bandit's knife I'm surprised the bleed didn't kick in though honestly must be have I thought he would have uh, 
quite weak to bleed, but apparently not. Let's talk just all there for a bit. Now, once again, I think I'll skip just a little bit of the dialogue. I'll leave it up on screen for a little bit so you can read it, but other than that, probably uh, not going to read into it too much. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition. You have a moment. Of course we'll listen. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollow, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Of course. It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old fading in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But you think, to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by, if you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body. If only I could be so... Well, good for you, Solar. Let's leave him be. Now then. Oh boy, this up and coming part. Let's hope that I can get this right, otherwise we are going to be um, slightly crispy and down 7,000 souls. Oh, Jesus. God damn it, 15 FPS. Why you do that? Oh. Well, we did it. We unlocked the shortcut. I thought for a second then that we were dead. I truly did. But we made it, so that's good. Let's go have a rest for a bit and level up. Upgrade the strength to 14. What else should we put some in? Getting a little bit more endurance wouldn't go amiss, and some health. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, we did use all our souls, but it's not a big deal. We're going to level up anyway, so... Yeah. This does weigh a lot more. But it also does a fair amount more damage. Loses the bleed, but the bleed isn't too much greater. Unfortunately, we are mid-rolling now. Which means we're taking something off. Gloves? No. Here we're 1.8. Pants. We're going pantsless? No. Oh, I could turn away a bit more than I realised. This actually does weigh less, so we could swap out for this. Uh, we're still hollowed as well, which means we don't look particularly pleasant. Hmm. What do we need to be under? 25. Yeah, under like 13.5, 12.5. So yeah, might as well stick with the mid roll for now. Not, a, not really happy about that, but it's only mid roll. It's no big deal. I'm used to mid roll quite a lot. I used to use it. Well, I do use it very often. Now then, there are two ways we can go here. We can go under the bridge, or we can go over the bridge. I'm going over the bridge because I don't like going under the bridge. Hello. That was tempting fate far too much. Still at least he cleared the bridge. Now what we want to do is we want to run into this wall here. And then... Come on. Someone kindled the bonfire. Are you going to do it? Oh, come on. There.
Run for the bonfire. Run for the bonfire. Now be gone, dragon. Actually, it's a drake, not a dragon. Let's be precise about this. Now then. We have the sunlight altar. Yeah, so a bunch of hollows looking very down. Let's uh, just uh, do this. It's only 20 souls, but put them out of the misery. Oh, the dragon's flown off. Well, the dragon's gone now. He'll be back. What we want to do is we want to pull this. And we also want to get rid of these guys, because there's stuff to loot here. Actually, it's through... I'm not sure, but I think one of these weapons is actually really good. As you can see, not much damage as, say, the... Uh, the parrying dagger, but... Not parrying dagger, the bandit's knife. But still, nothing to sneeze at. I mean, it kills them in one hit. Oh, I missed the katana poke. Oh, what, you're not dead? Of course he had one life left. Now, we don't want to go too far, otherwise the dragon will come back. Oh, it is here. The claymore. Claymore is a wonderful weapon. It's really nice. got a very good moveset to it. We're not going to use it, though, because I'm having to do a dex build. My own choice, I know, but still. Now then. Enemies are going to get a little bit harder now, because we've entered a new area. Still, the parry seems to work, so I'm not going to complain too much. Now, down here is where we would have come if we had, uh, if if we had what do you call it, come under the bridge. We're probably going to go back and go under the bridge. Actually, here I'm going to do this because this is what I'm about to do is really, really dumb. There's a black knight up here, and he is, um, well, he's using a weapon that's a bit larger than the previous one was. Oh, well, you can parry that. 152. And the Uchi is... 123. So we should use the parrying dagger for parrying. And it's not the parrying dagger, it's the bandit's knife. I know I'm getting them confused. Ooh! That launcher. Yep, <laughs> I saw that coming. I don't think there was much way I could have avoided that. No, well, we're only just down the road, just down these stairs. What takes a minute to get back up here? But that guy's going to be real pain. We should be able to deal with him though. I just got to make sure I don't miss the parries. That's all I've got to do. Okay, for minute, please come back. For minute, fifteen, 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 parrying in fifteen frames a second. There we go. All it took was one parry to bring it back. Now then. Losing the souls isn't a big deal. Losing the humanity is. We're going to slow walk up here this time. Because you can backstab him if you slow walk. Because we have entered stealth mode. Can we try to do a two-handed backstab? I wonder if that'll do more damage. I missed. Man, that sword it is violent. I wonder why the parry noise isn't working for this guy. Maybe it's because it's a strange weapon. Either way, just two more should do it. Don't fall down the stairs, please. There we go. One more. Beautiful. Well, two for two so far. Another Titanite Junk. Uh, only Titanite Junks. Still, I shouldn't complain too much. Titanite Junks are very useful. It's just a pity he didn't drop his weapon. Or his armor. Or his shield. I think he's most likely to drop his either weapons or his uh, or his shield is what I think he usually drops. Let's take a quick rest. A little bit leveling up. 
We're going to level up endurance a bit more. It's going to be a little bit of time before we can uh, quick roll again. However, if we were to unequip the Uchi, we should be able to do it. I just want to be a little bit faster because this part coming up is something I want to make sure I don't mess up. Now then, you see what's ahead of us. There's a big armoured boar, a couple of enemies, two archers up there. That enemy at the back, where my head is, he's going to run through that gate and lock that door. We have to make sure he doesn't do that. And by make sure he doesn't do that, I mean run like the wind. What we do is we run here, we run here, we jump, we roll through the gate, and we let him pull it behind him. Oh dear, the ball got through. I was hoping you'd pull it faster than that. This leaves us in a bit of a predicament. Oh, hello. We'll deal with you in a minute. First things first, we have to deal with all the rubbish that's followed us. I was expecting him to be quicker than that. Usually, he's very fast at pulling it. Oh dear. Yeah, this has gone messy. Mistakes may have been made. Just parry everything, we'll be fine. He's dead. He's dead. There we go. That's better. Now then, we have to deal with the boar, which has decided to come up here. And obviously can't get back through because, well, it can't. Still, I did expect him to be much quicker on pulling that, the portcullis. Oh well. Now then, you may notice that the boar has a weak spot. It certainly does. I missed. I missed completely. How did that fail? Just on the stairs, that's why. Is there an archer down here? There is. That guy's a crossbowman. What? One of the crossbowmen got through? I'm shocked. Oh yeah, we are so dead. There is no escaping this fate. God damn it. I'm shocked the amount of things that got through. I should have just pulled the gate myself. Oh, we've hit way past 30 now, so I do have to end this part here. So hopefully you all forgive the poor performance this time, and I'll see you all next time.